first of all thanks for being part of this video in this video we are going to see 10 mixed arithmetic questions the first question is started from here first of all thanks for being part of this video in this video we are going to see 10 mixed arithmetic questions starting with the first question before that if you are new to my channel please do like share and subscribe and click on the bell icon let's get started the first question is two types of prices which costs 48 rupees per kg and 36 rupees per kg okay 48 and 36 rupees per kg are mixed and marked at 83 one third per kg marked price so this will be 250 divided by 3 rupees is the market price so if we have market price means cost price and selling price is also there okay if the shopkeeper earns 25% profit after allowing a discount of 40% 40% discount he earned 25% let this be 100 okay now we have market price which is 250 divided by 3 so 250 divided by 3 40% discount means we left with 60% so we sell at 60% means we get to selling price this is selling price so 3 2 times 2 10, 5 times 5 50 times so selling price we got 50 rupees so 125 is nothing but 50 means 100 percentage which is 5 5 times 5 4 times 5 10 times 10 4 times so cost price will be 40 so we got a cost price which is 40 so the difference between these two will be 4 and here the difference is 8 so we got the ratio of 4 is to 8 which means 1 is to 2 the question asked is uh, then find the respective ratio of these two types of prices are mixed so this is the question that is asked 1 is to 2 is our answer so option c is our answer next second question a container carrying milk and water in the ratio of 9 is to 8 milk and water in the ratio of 9 is to 8 let us assume them as 9x and 8x okay if 14 liters of water has been added 14 liters added water to the solution then the ratio of the water milk to water becomes reversed so ratio becomes 8 is to 9 so the question asked is find the original volume of the solution original volume is 9x plus 8x 17x the question asked is about 17x is what okay here we get 9x divided by 8x plus 14 equals to 8 divided by 9 9 9 times 81 x minus 8 8 times 64 x equals to 18 4 8 14 times will be 1 1 2 so the difference between these two is 17 x and we need to find the 17 x value so we get the 17 x value is 1 1 2 so this is our answer option a is our answer next third question the question asked is arjun and mayank invested in the ratio of 4 is to 3 arjun mayank 4 is to 3 after 7 months mayank increased his amount by 3000 rupees so for 7 months after 7 months he increased his amount to extra 3000 okay if at the end of the year the profit shares of arjun to mayank is 32 is to 29 so this is for 5 months and this is total for 12 months now the ratio profit share of the ratio is given as a, this is 32 and this is a 29 so these are the ratios so what we have is a 12, 12 4 times 48 x equals to 32 this is a 7 3 times 21 x plus 15 x which will be 36 x plus 3 5 times 15,000 divided by 29 so what we have is uh, this is uh, 16 2 times 16 3 times 3 9, 29 times will be 87 x 36 2 times which will be 72 so 72 x equals to 13 2 15 times will be 30,000 so this is what we have and we got uh, 
15x which is 30,000 so x value will be 2000 the question asked is find the initial investment of Mayank Mayank invested initially 3x so 3 into 2000 which will be 6000 is our answer so option A is the answer next fourth question Rithvik can do 1342 part of work in 99 days so per day one, one part of work he can complete in given that 13 divided by 42 in 99 days so one part of work will be completed in 99 into 42 divided by 13 days so Rithvik days is given here now another one is Yoraz. Yoraz can complete 14 divided by 42 part of work in 99 days. So per day he can complete 99 into 42 divided by 14 days. It takes this much days. So Ritwik take this much days and Yoraz take this much days. Now the question asked is how many days Ritwik and Yoraz together can complete the work. So we have a formula of x into y by x plus y so this will be 99 into 42 divided by 13 into 99 into 42 divided by 14 whole divided by sum of these two we have common words 99 into 42 and 1 divided by 13 plus 1 divided by 14 13 plus 14 which will be 27 divided by 13 into 14 so 13 into 14 is cancelled 99 and 42 is also cancelled. We left with 9, 11 times, 9, 3 times, 3, 1 times, and 4 times. 11 into 14 we left. 11 into 14 will be 154. So this is our answer. So option C is the answer for this question. Question number 5. Here the question given is ratio between the length of train A to the length of train B are in the ratio of 11 is to 12 so let's assume as 11x and 12x speed of train A is 54 km per hour so speed of A equals to 54 means 18 3 times 3 5 times will be 15 15 meters per second okay next speed of the train B is given as 36 km per hour means 18 2 times 2 5 times will be 10 10 meters per second so these are the speeds they are running in opposite direction to each other if uh, train a crosses a uh, train b in 46 seconds so some of these uh, lengths which will be 23 x divided by in 46 seconds equals to some of these length, some of these speeds 10 plus 15 which will be 25 meters per second so we get uh, this is 2 times uh, x equals to 50 meter 50 meters so the question asked is find the length of train A 11 x 11 into 50 will be 550 so answer will be 550 meters so option D is the answer for question number 5 now question number 6 36 men are engaged to construct a building in 51 days in 51 days but it is found that in 15 days only one fourth of work is completed so 36 men worked for 15 days one fourth of work is completed now they need to complete three fourth of work okay the question asked is how many more men should be engaged so that the work can be finished on time so to complete the work on on time here we have completed 15 days left with 36 days here how many extra men is needed but we will take uh, some men are working let's see what we get here 36 36 cancel 4 and 4 cancel what we left is m also cancel 15 into 3 times 45 equals to x so total number of men is needed to complete the work 3 fourth of work in 36 days is 45 so initially we have 36 men now it is becomes 45 men means 9 more men is added so answer will be option E 9 is our answer next we are going to see question number 7 question number 7 average marks scored by Banu in 6 different subjects is 
40. So this will be total marks scored by Banu. Later it was found that the two scores were written incorrectly as 47 in place of 45 means extra two marks is added to his marks and in 41 place and 41 in place of 49 means 8 marks less than actual marks so, so total difference he got is minus 6 marks so it is minus 6 marks than his original marks so his original marks is 4, 246 now the question asked is find the correct average so total 6 subjects means divided by 6 is one times so this is a, is a original average correct average so answer will be option b 41 next eighth question ramesh has two daughters and the ratio of the ages of two daughters monica and sakshi after seven years is 11 is to 20 so monica and sakshi are two daughters of ramesh after seven years the ratio of them are 11 is to 20 after 12 years the age of monica is 60 percent of the age of the sakshi's age so after 12 years means 7 plus 5 years the ratio becomes here says that 60 percentage 60 percent is is nothing but 6 by 10 which is 3 by 5 so here the ratio becomes 3 is to 5 here the difference is 2 here the difference is 9 so multiplying this with uh, 2 11 2 times 22 22 times 40 here we have 9 9 3 times is 27 9 5 times 45 now we have 5 parts value is nothing but 5 years so one part value will be one year so 22 parts value will be 22 years and 40 years when it is after seven years the question asked is find the sum of their present ages here the total age will be 64 when it is after seven years so plus seven for this one and plus seven for this one means subtracting 14 from the total we get the present sum of the value of m and s so subtracting 14 from this we get a 50 so answer will be 50 wait a second here it is 22 plus 40 will be 62 62 minus 14 will be 48 so sum of those two people is is 48 so answer will be 48 option e is our answer next question number nine let's see here question nine the speed of the boat in still water is 60% more than the speed of the stream so m is given as 160 more than speed of the stream so this is given the ratio we get is 8 by 5 so this is 8x and 5x if the boat covers 91 kilometers downstream means m plus s which will be 13x plus 51 kilometers upstream means uh, difference between these two which will be 3x equals to 12 hours so 13 7 times 3 17 times so we have 7 plus 17 which will be 24 divided by x equals to 12 12 2 times so x value we get is 2 now the question asked is find the time taken by boat to cover 36 kilometers upstream upstream means m minus s m minus s means 3x 3 2 times which will be 6 6 hours so this is our answer option a is our answer next 10th question the compound interest on a certain money for two years is compound interest for two years is 1260 while the simple interest on the same sum at the same rate for four years is two four double zero. Simple interest for two four years is two four double zero. 
this is for four years so if we take for uh, two years what will be the simple interest for uh, one year the interest will, will be 2400 divided by four we get 600 for one year this is interest for one year for two years so we get 1200 as our interest so simple interest and compound interest the difference between these two we get is a 60 this 60 comes because of the compound interest compound interest calculated on interest on interest here interest is first year interest is 600 extra 60 got for the second year due to interest on interest for compound interest so this 60 comes from this one so this 60 comes when 10 percent is of 60 so rate is nothing but 10 percent is rate 10 percentage means the question asked is find the sum here we have we don't know the value of p we need to find the value of p t value for one year at a rate of 10 percentage we get 600 as our interest so 10 0 0 we get p value which is 6000 so this is our answer option d is our answer option d so that's all for today if you are new to my channel please do like share and subscribe and click on the bell icon to get instant notification about my videos thanks for watching